Hey guys, Kevin JJ Owen here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make a backup car for your Lego trains. So that if you're making a really long train and one motor is not enough at the engine, one motor at the engine is not enough to um, pull the whole train, these are kind of what you would need for the backup. Um, or you could obviously make it longer. You make it longer to stretch across this whole little sample track I got here. But I just did one, um, like a tender. Um, you obviously make it really longer and put like these. You could really make it like I got a Emerald Knight coach here. You put one of the things right there, another one of them right there. I just have the battery boxes inside. And then you could just obviously make it like a kind of freight car, I guess. And, and, and it'd still be cool, yeah. Um, and all you need is some of the little log pieces for this. Um, not really hard to make. Uh, it does cost a little bit of money. Uh, you need the battery box. I'm going to disassemble all of this real quick and show you. Okay, so I'm going to order one of these, the train motor, and a battery box, and you're going to need six AAA batteries, and then you're going to, I'm going to take some of these extra pieces off. You're going to get some of the coupler hooks and put them on both sides. Obviously put them on both sides. Then you're going to take these cannonball pieces, they say, and put them each of the little corners. And then once you've done that, you're going to build your base, and mine just happens to be something like that. And make sure you put some of the slick, smooth pieces on the bottom so that um, it doesn't stick down and it'll be hard to get out. Make sure you put some smooth pieces there. And then just put it on like that. Mine's a little crooked. Fix that. 